a huge snook swimming down the spillway right now. Got him. Nice fish. Nice. Oh my god, this is a giant. Holy <laughs> <laughs> what is up my dogs Lawson here you already know what we're doing we're land skipping right now man I'm just stoked to be out this morning we're gonna go around see if we can chase down some spillway snook tarpon and largemouth it has been unbelievable amount of fun doing this lately getting a lot of exercise just feeling good today's video is sponsored by shop Carl that we'll talk about in a little bit oh man I'm fired up this morning hopefully we can get on them Oh, yeah. All right, we pulled up to the legendary spillway spot. This spot is so beautiful. We fished it, you know, last week or maybe two weeks ago. I don't even remember it now. And it was just such an amazing time. I wanted to revisit it and see if there's any more snook or tarpon or largies here. Working really well for me lately has been a bass jig. So right here we got a Trash Master and an Exopod. Both are made by Ketchco. You can get them off Shop Carl's. I'll leave a link down below. But. I've been getting like a ton of snook eats on jigs and that's been awesome. Like one of my favorite things in the world for some reason is catching fish on lures that you're not really supposed to catch that fish on. Oh my God, a mullet just cleared the dam. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That was so cool. They're hopping around down there and one of them just went whoop right over it. That was awesome. Mm. Fish on the bass jig, just dragging it. I don't know what this is. Feels decent. It might be a snook, I think. Yeah, it's a snook on the bass jig. Awesome. Awesome. It's just been so cool how well this jig's been working, man. Oh, not a huge one, but it's just so cool getting them on the jig. I think this is a tarpon snook. Oh, sweet. Come here, I, wanna, I just want to show them off so you guys can see a tarpon snook. Really, really cool fish. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And that jig hanging right out of his mouth. I mean, barely hooked. So, this is another variant of a snook. It's not the common snook that you're used to catching that gets real big. This actually this is just a fat snook. <laughs> this is not a tarpon snook, but he is really cool. You see how how tall his body is, like a large mouth, and how huge his eyes are, and he's got really really sharp fins. Snook already have really sharp fins, but these things take it to another level. Very very beautiful fish. They don't get. I've mentioned before in videos they don't get super big. Like this is like a. This is still like a small one, but I think the world record is around 10 pounds. But they are a super cool fish and they love coming up in fresh water. It's super cool to get them on the bass jig, man. What a ham. What an absolute ham. That's what we love to see. Whew. All right, let's drag that jig. Man, because that snook ate the jig like a bass would. I didn't even feel him dump it and I was just literally lifting and dragging and he picked it up and just started swimming with it like a largemouth would it's so cool catching those little uh fat snook i hope we can catch a tarpon snook and show you there's tarpon snook there's sword spine snook and fat snook and then there's the common snook that's at least what we get in florida and then over in the pacific ocean they have black snook and i think a few different variations as well Real quick, today's video is sponsored by Shop Carl's. If you know what Shop Carl's is, they're an online retailer that sell all of your fishing needs. Most of what I'm gonna be using in today's video, I got off of Shop Carl's. And uh, you can join Carl's Club and get huge discounts and get access to newer items before everyone else can get released. Seriously, I use it to get like all my stuff these days. Couldn't recommend it more. They have saltwater stuff, freshwater stuff, anything that you really need, you can get it there. I'll leave a link down below where you can check it out. Oh, tarpon just rolled dead center really really exciting right there i might have to go pick up something that a tarpon would eat i mean i think it's the chance that a tarpon would eat this jig but i know baits that a tarpon would eat more 
likely than this bass jig for sure. All right, saw a tarpon roll down yonder, tied on this little shad swim bait. I'd like to think shad dumped over the spillway. Tarpon could be hard pressed to deny eating this thing. We'll see. I'm gonna roll it nice and slow like. Oh, something just blew up on a pot of minnows down there. Just watch all these minnows go flying out of the air right around the corner. They blew up again. Oh, tarpon right there. They're eating pretty small stuff, so I don't know if they'll hit the shad or not. Like they're they're eating minnows, like little, little mosquito fish. Oh, right there. Is that a largemouth or what is that? It came right out of the rock and slammed it. What is this? Okay, a little largemouth. Nice. Not, I mean, everything's welcome here, but uh, I'm hoping for that Tarbonius, but nothing quite as cool as whacking largemouth and snook and watching tarpon roll in the same spot. So we'll give him that. Thank you, homeboy. What a beautiful fish that is, man. Like when you get them in some moving water, largemouth can get some wicked cool colors. So, I'm at a really cool spillway right here I just pulled up to. And I can see a lot of fish down there, but I'm super high up. And I know if I walk down, they're gonna see me. So I might try to cast from up here. And then if I hook something, hop down the rocks as fast as I can. I've got a bass jig on, I uh, do and get jig. I see a lot of cichlids, a lot of gills. So I'm sure there's a large mouse sitting in there somewhere. Oh my god, what? There's a largemouth, like it's only like a pound and a half largemouth and I flipped the jig directly onto his head and he literally just opened his mouth and like caught the jig. Like no joke. I wish I had like a high def camera. Like there had to be maybe a quarter of a second elapsed between the jig hitting the water and him eating it. Oh, oh no, he threw it. Oh damn. Oh. 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 oh, my leg just got crushed by that rock. Oh, oh, oh my god. Ooh, I almost just freaking snapped the leg, cracked the skull. Oh. My rod okay? I literally had to chuck it to catch myself. It's freaking boulder that I slipped on is still rolling underneath me. Oh my gosh. All right, we're good. Legs super scratched up, but we're okay. Wow, that could have been really bad. <laughs> okay, we're all good. We're all good. Let's hope my rod's okay. I'm okay, so hope my rod's okay. Oh, nice! Skipped that jig across the top and he ate it off the top. Beautiful largemouth. Makes getting my leg crushed in half worth it. What a stud. Come to daddy. He's just a fat butterball. What a heifer. Dude, this boy. <sighs> This boy be looking like a northern largemouth. Got a little head and a big fat football gut. Look at that guy. Thank you for uh, redeeming me after nearly breaking my leg. I'm not a very dramatic person, I would say. But I am very lucky that I did not like break something falling down that rock ledge. Very could have easily snapped the leg with my legging trapped under the rock like that or at least like fell over and hit my head or something. Oh my gosh, nice bass just cruising right here. Damn, that's a nice bass, dude. There's a second one as well, but I don't want this first one. Got him. Nice fish. Nice fish. 
Oh, he's up in that grass on me. That 25 pound fluoro busting through. That's a stud. That is a stud. Are you kidding me? That is a freaking tank. Unreal. Just sight casted that boy. Cruising in a foot of water. What a meat sandwich. Buddy. Absolutely dumpstered that. That's probably a three and a half pounder. Such a long fish. I'm just gonna flip him in right here, nice and easy into the water. There he goes. Wow, that was freaking dope. He was a lot bigger than I even thought he was. Like seeing him swim, I thought he was probably a two pounder, but he was three and a half. And there's a huge snook swimming down the spillway right now. Oh, he just swam right past it. It's like a 30 inch snook. Oh, he just totally ignored it. Holy crap. It was like a 28, 30 inch snook just came cruising right by after I released that bass. It's pretty surreal to be fishing where I am right now because this is actually where I grew up and like learned how to fish for a snook and largemouth a ton. I haven't been back here for a really long time. If you watch my videos early on, I filmed a lot of videos out in this area. And so it's cool to come out here and stick a big largemouth and see some snook and hopefully we can uh, pin a snook real quick before we call it an end. We're gonna try this to close it out. This is a bull shad right here. Now I've shown the baby bull shads before, but this is like an original bull shad, a five inch one, and they make them up to nine inches. And this is a pretty expensive bait if you're like new to the bass swim bait world. In terms of things, it's actually a pretty mid price bait. I paid 50 bucks for this and I got it off shop Carl's, so we'll see. It's a big fish lure, most definitely. See how it swims. Oh my gosh, it looks so freaking good. It's already a big old cichlid falling in. Like, look at that thing. Two really big large mouth over here. They saw my swim bait. Oh, one hit it, but he didn't hit it very hard. Huge large mouth, like six pounder on, on it. Oh my god, it's a giant, it's a giant, giant, giant bass. Holy crap, holy crap, that is a huge bass. Really big.